down in the description below you're going to find a list of all the tools you're going to need for this job as well as the products that I used. Alright guys, how's it going? Today what we're going to do is we're going to change the oil on my 2012 Dodge Journey. And this is going to be the whole process including resetting the oil change light. So let's get to it. Alright, first things first, you want to get yourself some good ramps. Get your car up on the ramps. What you really want to do is make sure the e-brake's on, make sure the car's not going anywhere. Level surface. Um, as best you can that way you can get underneath and it's uh, not as big a deal so the plan is we need to drain the oil first which means getting underneath Ugh. over on the right side of the vehicle on the passenger side here's your oil pan right here and there is a half inch bolt right here what you're going to do is you're going to loosen that and oil's going to start dripping out then once you undo it it's all going to pour out so I gotta get my pan under here, and we're gonna undo that. There is no reason for this to be this tight. This is ridiculous. Wow, that's just ridiculous. There we go. That was stupid. Like, this thing doesn't need to be that tight. I mean, it needs to be tight so it doesn't come off while you're going down the road and the heat and everything. But really, it really doesn't need to be that tight. No way I'm letting anybody change my oil ever again. All right, so we have it loose. And what's nice about these bolts is you can actually like hand loosen them. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to shoot down this way, and uh, yeah, so you just unscrew it. It'll start leaking here in a second. Yep, there's a little bit of leakage coming out. There we go. All right, well that's finishing up its drain cycle. I'm gonna wipe off this bolt. That was just stupid how tight that was. Ridiculous. Unnecessary and ridiculous. All right, so while that's draining, we gotta pull the oil filter. And on the 3.6 Pentastar um, for the 2012 Dodge Journey, it's actually on top of the engine. And I'm gonna use my rag for that, so let's get to that. Pop the hood. And that's just right here. Pull that up. Up under here, there's a little lever right here. Push that over this way. And lift up. And then you have to hook it with the hook. All right, so on the top of the engine here, there is this little access port. And you just click it once, undo it, pull it off, and set mine aside. Down inside here is the oil filter cartridge. So you gotta undo that. All right, so what I found was a 15 16 with a 12 point socket. So it's not so much of a mess is I'm gonna pull off this cover. It just pulls right off, so no big deal. That way I can get a rag up underneath where the, the filter goes. As you can see here, I'm pulling it out, unscrewing it, and the top's going to come with the canister filter because it's kind of clicked in there. And we're going to replace this filter and put a new one on. Okay, so to undo this filter from the top, you actually just pull it. And it comes right off. It's got these little clips on it. and. It just clips right into the, the top there. Dispose of your old filter. So there's also a gasket on here you'll want to replace. Alright, get a flathead screwdriver, pull off this gasket, it goes right around here. And then your new filter should come with a gasket. Here's the new gasket. And I'm going to wipe this down real quick. Put the new gasket on all the way to the, all the, way to the edge. All the way to right there. You're going to give your filter cap a good wipe down.
don't want any dust or sand on it, so I'm getting all the sand and stuff off of it. See how nice that looks? Brand new, you can't even tell. Then get your filter with the clip side up and just clip it in. Clips right in. Now we're gonna reinstall it. And to reinstall it's just the opposite. Just slide this guy on here. Start screwing it in. Remove the rag. And get your tool and tighten it down. And this doesn't need to be super tight, just tight enough so it gets that seal on it. I'm just gonna one hand tighten it. Right there. See? One hand. That's it. Alright, so we're still dripping a tiny bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna put this bolt back in. And before I get it all the way in, I'm gonna get a rag and wipe all the way around it. This is where you need to tighten it to. Dealerships. Look at that, I can't even get my wrench on it now. Alright, so it's on there. Hold it, give it a good tight tightening. Just some hand taps. I'm putting minimal pressure on it. I mean, I'm putting pressure on it, like, but if I need to pull it off, just a small little whack. Look, done. Just enough that it's gonna stay tight and not come out. And I'll be okay with that. All right, so now we have that back in. We need to put some oil in it. This vehicle takes six quarts, or I believe it's 5.8 liters. And we're gonna put that in here. All right, so normally you would have a funnel for this, but I don't have a funnel, but I'm really good at pouring. All right, I've got my rag again. Got the engine oil filler here. Undo it. Make sure there's no oil dripping off of it. <clears throat> Set it on my rag. Like I said, this vehicle takes six quarts. We're gonna let that sit in there for a minute. If you guys want a little ingenuity, here we go. I'm gonna grab the one quart, I'm gonna cut the bottom off, and that'll be my funnel. There we go. There's my makeshift uh, funnel. All right guys, that's drained all in there. I had a little bit of spillage, so I'm gonna clean that up. All right, now that we have our six quarts in there, I'm gonna wipe off the uh, oil filler cap. Get it nice and clean. And as well as the top. Just so it looks nice, even though no one's gonna see it. But I like it to look nice. It makes you feel good inside. Now that that's in there, put the engine oil filler cap on, put this back on, if you take this off, it's so much easier if you do, and then you just hit it, four corners, get it snapped on there, put your cover back on, and you're good to go. As soon as you put your tools away, you gotta reset the engine oil light. And that's the one that flashes when it says engine oil do. So this is how you do that. All right, so we are back inside the Dodge. I have changed the oil, but we still have the change oil light that comes up. To reset that, you keep your foot off the brake and turn the car into the on position and then press the gas pedal three times all the way to the ground within 10 seconds. And then turn it off. Now, when we turn the car on, the change oil light should be reset. Nothing's popped up yet, so it looks like we're good. So that's how you change the oil in a 2012 Dodge Journey. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comments below. So we changed our oil at 55,845 miles 
the thing actually says 56,000 so we're right there right on point um, with uh, the oil change and all it says in the book is oil change oil filter and no other maintenance and then I think the next time around there's a couple other things so we'll do that when that time comes it's gonna be a minute though because I think that's 8,000 miles from here and that takes me a while to do so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one